everyone at once. <laughs> what do you guys feel like you down? Sorry, what, what do you feel like uh, you guys accomplished tonight? What were you looking? Or what were you looking to accomplish in the scrimmage? Uh, I think tonight was just a good night for us to kind of get some jitters out, play in front of our crowd, uh, play as a team, and I thought it was really good for all of us to just be in that environment. You know, there's a little more pressure than practice, and so thought it was really good. The Rock showed out. Um, shout out everyone that pulled up, and yeah, I think that's what we accomplished. Yeah, I mean, I have the same idea, and just was really, really cool to feel this this score for the first time, and yeah, just just see the rock over there, feel this energy, and just play, have fun. Yeah, I I, I don't got much to add. Just like we try to have fun out there, uh, try some things that we were establishing. Uh, this past month or so, and uh, you know, just try to play basketball. We saw how how arena can be crowded. It wasn't a half full, I think. It was just rocking. So I can't wait to be full uh, in front of the crowd. Yeah. Yeah, Gore, you played in some pretty big kind of moments, tournaments, that kind of thing with Madrid and back home and all of that. Where does playing in front of where does kind of the basketball fandom, I guess, of, of Provo and BYU sort of weigh? To be honest, it's not even close to the places where I've been playing. And I was in many different gyms, so loud, many people. But it's just different energy, different atmosphere. And yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just really fun to be there. We, I, I, I can say for everybody that we, we've been enjoying a lot just, just being in this, in this gym today. Igor, how's this BYU experience been so far since you arrived on campus and and just everything that BYU's kind of encompassed for you? It was great. It was like people asking me about this and thinking I'm lying sometimes because how emotional I'm saying that. But this is true with all my heart. I'm, I'm really enjoying my life in here. And not only, uh, not only talking about the court and being with the team in the gym, but also outside. And yeah, I can't complain about anything. What do you feel like this team's capable of this season with all the options you guys have? Uh, we we are not having any limits on our team this year, and we just we just working out really hard, getting better, and yeah, we just we we are we are coming to to the season with the idea of winning every game. Uh, Mahilo, guys, close enough. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mahilo, you got kind of a late start. A, a late addition. Do you feel like you've caught up now, or do you feel like you're still kind of catch up with the rest of the guys? Well, like personally, uh, you know, just meeting everybody, uh, yeah, you know, uh, enjoying everybody. Uh, everybody's great. Um, I met a lot of people. So for in one month, uh, I think I accomplished that. Uh, Basketball-wise, uh, I think there's a lot of stuff to uh, implement. Yet, uh, we're still like, it's a. I still feel like we we have a lot of stuff to implement in our all our games, but uh, uh, like, yeah, I'm catching up. Uh, it's still a long way to go, but season <coughs> starting in 30 days, so I have time and yeah. Yeah, you know, we haven't seen any practices. So did what we see out there is that what's been happening in practice? With uh, Pooch taking threes and you and Yegor playing against each other and Yegor dunking, is that kind of what you guys have been doing? Um, lots of me and Yegor playing against each other. Um, Foose making threes. That that was new. <laughs> that was new for everybody. It was new. You know, I knew I knew he had it in him. He's Steph Curry for sure. Um, and he's going to be letting us hear about that for the next couple weeks. He's probably got the green light, but. I think that was a good insight of how of what we're trying to do. I still think we have uh, a little ways to go, and that's going to come with playing together for this next month and uh, learning each other's tendencies and just developing that uh, team chemistry. But I think you see what a glimpse of what we're capable of, and we're excited to just keep getting better every day because, like Yegor said, there's no limits for this team, and it's just about staying present. Dallin, are, you, are players getting a sense of – how the rotations will be, who the starting five might be. Are you guys there yet as far as the players knowing and what your roles will be? No, as of right now, everyone's just competing at a really high level. Um, 
and coaches kind of figuring that out. And the great thing about the guys that coach has brought in and kept here is the only thing on everyone's mind is winning. So we're going to put that first. Everyone's going to sacrifice for the team, and that should take care of itself. Three more questions. Dallin, how, how do you think you're coming along in terms of learning this new system and, and running it the way Kevin Young wants it to be run? Um. I think it's a, a work in progress. I think Coach Young is a phenomenal coach. He inspires us to play with a lot of confidence. I will say that Coach Young did an incredible job of bringing in the right players. Um, obviously, like these two right here, all the guys in the locker room, I'm surrounded by NBA talent, right? And so we have the pieces. Coach is coaching us, and uh, I feel like it's coming along. I'm just trying my best to, to fulfill my role for this team. Two more questions. Yeah, Ila, what the uh was about BYU that, uh, that you felt like you this was the place for you to, to take your college basketball <clears throat> well I, I had a coach uh, I had a talk with coach young uh, it was like kind of beginning of summer uh, and I was just like uh, thinking about it and it just you know whatever he said he it, it like uh, I, th I thought it was great uh, he's he's a he was an NBA coach so he he knows how to how to play how to coach basketball of course but uh, like he knows all those nuances and stuff uh, that he's trying to bring into into our uh, playing style. So I was just intrigued with the uh, opportunity uh, to to learn something new, to get better. That was my main goal. And uh, like basketball wise, yeah, just like great program. Uh, a lot of a lot of coaches, a lot of a lot of people who helps uh, help us every day to get better, uh, trying to teach us new things. So that's what I came for. Last question. Diego Trevor now, we asked him, what is Diego doing? And he said, everything. When you hear that, what does that mean? That means a lot for me because I'm spending so many time with this guy in the workouts and, and team practices and just outside. Uh, we're just spending a lot of time together and looking for this chemistry that we already feel, but we didn't even start to play yet. You know, so yeah, this, is, this means more than a lot for me. I just, I just, I just, I just love this guy. I love to play with him, spend spend time with him. Same as with all these guys around me, you know. Yep, I would say that. All right. Thank you. Appreciate y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Mano, yeah, yeah, un poco.